Good afternoon, everyone. Jack McGrath with NTMarkets.com. Well, really, the Eurodollar complex is very lackluster, very low volumes, and the options have been extremely quiet. Um, I guess it's the season for uh, quiet times, but it's um, uh, that makes you want to look at other things. Hence, the uh, we paid, we uh, saw the uh, bond reversal um, in the uh, off the uh, March daily chart in the bonds. You have a key reversal, and what you'd be looking for is a lower low during tomorrow's trading session. So we need to pay attention to that. What I'd like to see is some kind of strength you want to sell into, looking for a lower low tomorrow, um, and then that you know that's another thing you want to pay attention to the. The bun may be giving the heads up for the treasury, so um, it may carry over into the U.S. markets as well. So we want to pay attention to that. It, you might be able to uh, get a nice scalp if we uh, see the treasuries bounce and the bun continues lower. You'd want to sell, I think, uh, the uh, tenure or the bonds here to take advantage of that. But uh, actually, the tenure and the bonds traded heavy this uh, most of the session it was a nice trade we saw some strength early in the morning and then they basically uh, slid lower the rest of the session but uh, very light volumes um, for the most part I think everywhere the S&P's had a, another nice trade up I still like selling bounces in the stocks but uh, we'll see if we start to get above 1423 I think you can get the spike up to the 3031 area and that would be your next level where you try to short it again but uh, that's it for today oh yeah one last thing the currencies now you need to roll your charts to March uh, moving forward you'll probably start to see the March contract over uh, more volume than the D's contract it is the lead lead uh, contract now so uh, uh, adjust your uh, charts accordingly. So have a nice afternoon. Jack McGrath with ntmarkets.com. Thank you.